Hi everybody, it's Kelly Driver here. Welcome to my art channel. It's uh, great to have you along today. Welcome to uh, any new viewers that are tuning in and also a big hi to my existing followers and thank you for watching another video of mine. Today I'm going to do another painting in my Gold Room series. So the Gold Room is inspired by Marie Antoinette's private chambers. She has a room called the Gold Room in Versailles, in Paris, in France. I love watching videos of people um, renovating chateaus in France on YouTube. And um, it brings me so much joy, the things that people have um, done, especially when they um, renovate a chateau using um, traditional um, keeping the traditional original features wherever they can. I'm not really into videos where people take out the um, old, the old um, original things and replace it with modern. Uh, being in Australia, everything's modern over here. We don't have old, really old buildings. Certainly not really old buildings. Anyway, I love watching French chateaus. Dan, my partner, said, why don't you do some paintings inspired by uh, French chateaus? So I pulled the colours from the Gold Room in Versailles and I've been creating this collection. This is another painting and today I'm doing a rectangular painting. Um, it's a lovely sized canvas. It's not too big, not too small either. And um, using the same colours and today I'm going to do a Dutch pour. So let's have some fun. doing my funny little hello for you. It's the only time you'll get to see me with um, no makeup on. <laughs> okay, so this canvas is a um, 46 by 61 centimeter canvas. And we're doing our third painting in the Gold Room Versailles series which I'm totally loving. So for the, the Gold Room is a series that I've just started doing everyone. Um, my last two paintings were also, that you can find on my channel, were also for the Gold Room. And uh, I'm using my inspiration of chateaus as my, um, my love of chateaus for these paintings at the moment. Um, but I've decided I don't think today I'm going to use Van Dyke Brown. It just seems a little bit too dark. So we'll see what happens. I've added in uh, Raw Sienna. I may use that instead of Van Dyke Brown. I might leave both out. I'll just see how I'm feeling as, we, um, as this unfolds. And today, um, as I've said in the intro, I'm going to do a Dutch pour. So let's, uh, I'll just blow out the base and I'll be right back with you in a moment. Okay, so we've got a nice base and a lovely long fibre, hair fibre somehow, floating through the air as they do, ruining my paintings as they do. <laughs> I blew it out with my blow dryer then I got paint all over the floor. Then I <laughs> spread it out a bit further with a palette knife. So <laughs> I've already made a big mess and we've only got one color on the canvas. My plan is to have um, some uh, base color, some main colors throughout the whole painting and then touches of the um, colors in the floor rug in the gold room. Um, Marie Antoinette's gold room in Versailles. So we'll have our main colours and then some touches of other colours. So because the main two colours of the room are turquoise and gold, turquoise green and gold, I've got those colours to go in the main. So I think I'm going to do a bit of a and a wee over that way. That's what I'm thinking. 
as I put my arm in the paint. Looks like today's going to be a grubby day. <laughs> I've been feeling a little bit um, not with it today. I don't know. I don't think I've got, I think I'm a bit tired. All right, so let's start with uh, warm grey. Oops. <laughs> and some paint wanted to go there for some reason. This is Titanium Buff Light. Um, now I'll put on my turquoise green. my dark gold, deep gold, it is not um, dark, yeah, deep gold. And now the light gold. And then the other colours, we're going to put touches of them throughout the painting. So this is gold ochre. I think I will put this bit of this raw sienna in, give it a go rather than the Van Dyke Brown. I'll just try it. Just some little bits, not a lot. That'll do. Just a smidge, smidgen. Uh, we'll put on the manganese blue. Whoa, it's dripping, it's popping out. Okay, that's lovely. got bronze. Um, in my painting number two in the Gold Room series, I forgot to put magenta in. Um, that was my um, Dutch Bloom one. I forgot magenta, which was a bit silly. Just, um, I don't know why, I just did. So we'll um, make up for that here. This is Light Rose, the palest of the pinks, this one.
Okay, I think that's all of my colours now. So there are a lot of colours in there, but of course I'm only doing um, touches. There's one other colour I want to do. I'm going to put a few touches of Interference Gold. This is a um, golden brand colour and it's pretty special. So we'll see what it does. The interference is pretty mind blowing. So we'll see how that goes. I've only used um, interference gold on a dark base. Haven't actually tried it on a light base. Electric bass or simply bass is the lowest pitched member of the guitar family. Thank you very much. Would you like Siri? to hear more? No, thank you. We don't need to hear more. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's my son's iPad going off to us, that are talking to us there. Okay, I'll get rid of the bubbles. Just put that on to make sure the paint can move, glide easily off the edge of the canvas. Now, I always find the trickiest part to blow out to be the corner, that corner there. So I think I will start in this corner and then work my way out from there. Beautiful, beautiful. It's so dreamy, it's so dreamy. Oh, wow. Just gorgeous. 
I think there's a lot of paint under here. Yeah, I might give that a bit of a... Uh, I might actually do it with the blow dryer. There's a lot there. Beautiful. Just rounding this bit off here a little bit to make it form. Just tip that over the edge a bit. This is so beautiful. It's just, um, it's another unicorn painting. <laughs> oh, I've already done one that was, um, it reminds me of the unicorn painting that I did. Although this one doesn't have any iridescent colors in it, but it does have the interference gold. So I'm looking forward to watching that see what that's like when it's dry. Didn't like these. I don't like sharp uh, edges when I do these um, Dutch pours. I like them to be pillowy, soft, soft curve, curving lines. This bit here is a little bit jagged. It's a bit softer. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm really happy with it. Very, very happy with it. Um, I'll fix up the sides and um, I'll um, show you, uh, you get to, in about, in a few seconds, you'll get to see what I see in a few weeks. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. See you in a moment. So the colors have turned out just beautiful in this one. 
The high gloss varnish is um, so nice. Oh, it's not easy to apply the high gloss varnish, I must say. Spraying it with a, um, a satin varnish is much easier than the high gloss varnish, but you do get a beautiful result with this one and it's, seen, it's very fitting for um, an elaborate themed artwork such as this. The colours are just gorgeous. A little bit different with the um, with the naked eye to this. The colours, um, as you probably heard before, um, turquoise doesn't come up exactly the same in a camera to um, the naked eye. But anyway, it's still super beautiful and you definitely get the idea. And uh, this is another one in the Gold Room series. Still got more to come, so stay tuned. Keep watching. Bye for now.